People of Reddit with security cameras, what is the creepiest thing you've caught on video? Posted one day ago. A neighbor walking by, which he does every day, and realizing the cameras were being installed, CCTV, van, etc. Next day, on his walk by, he stands still and just looks at the camera. Could understand him looking for a few seconds to see how they were wired, what brand, what they might be able to see, etc. But he stood there just looking at a single camera for about 14 minutes. My old apartment had incredibly unprofessional repair staff. I'd call them because my AC would be out and they'd come over while I was at work rather than the agreed upon time while I was home and they'd use my bathroom, poke around through my stuff, type on my keyboard, fuck around with my pets, etc. Needless to say, I was pretty livid. I set up a camera and caught them, then took the footage to the front office. I got a personal call from the owner of the apartment complex to apologize and almost the entire repair staff got fired. My stepdad woke up one morning and found a bucket of fried chicken in our driveway. For some reason, he didn't think it was odd at all. I did and checked our camera recordings. Ends up being this lady walked up to my car at like 3 a.m. with a bucket. She was obviously homeless and probably on drugs. When the camera light turned on, she yelled, I brought you some chicken and left the bucket on the ground by my car. To this day, I wonder what was up with the chicken lady. It started out being slightly creepy, but it ended up being really funny. I have external cameras with night vision all around my house. My family and I were on vacation several time zones west of our house. One night, right before I was about to go to bed, I got an alert and logged in to see what was going on. I saw a car pull into my driveway and four people got out, acting all sneaky and stealthy. It was well past midnight at my house and this didn't look good. I called my wife and kids in to watch it. I was preparing to call the police in my hometown. We saw them all sneak away and toilet paper a neighbor's house. They then ran back to their car in my driveway and sped off. My family and I laughed so hard. It was a highlight of that vacation. At work, the IT guy reviews our restaurant security videos. One day he calls me and tells me to open his email to me and to close my office door. The first part of the video shows the restaurant manager opening up the restaurant after hours, 1 a.m. to let a woman in. Next clip, they are manager's office having sex. Next clip shows them drinking liquor straight out of the bottle. Then they start arguing and the manager drags the woman down the stairs and throws her out of the restaurant. OMG. The manager was obviously fired. The woman later claimed the manager raped her. IT turned over unredacted and unedited to the police and I don't recall if the rape charges against manager were upheld. I was looking for a lost calf out in the woods one night and found a game camera I didn't recognize on the property. It got a few pictures of me. It was my boss's friend and she had forgotten to tell me. My boss had a good laugh when her friend checked his camera and nervously told her there was a guy with a shaggy beard and a handgun wandering around the woods in the middle of the night. I have cameras in my house for my dogs that alert me when they bark and I can send them treats, etc. It basically functions as a security camera. Anyways, we went on a vacation and I warned our dog sitter in advance that we have cameras in common areas of the first floor of our home. One day during my trip at 3 a.m., I review my dog footage because I get an alert on my phone that my dogs are barking like crazy. I normally wouldn't creep, but I was concerned that maybe there was a fire or break-in or the woman fell, etc. The footage shows the dog sitter, a 70-year-old lady, running around the house, swearing at my dogs in underwear only. Wasn't a security cam, but this one time my roommates set up a web camera in the living room which was motion activated because we had four dogs in the house and at least one of them was shitting on the carpet. Three of the dogs were pretty average on intelligence, but one of them was too smart for her own good. So we all cruise out and do our thing, and upon returning, we check the carpet and there is what appears to be a little chocolate smudge on the carpet. Of course, we were all out together so we know no one would have made a poor attempt to clean up any accidents so naturally we check the video and the culprit ended up being the smart dog. She does her business and right as she's about to walk away, she stops, turns her head and looks directly at the camera and after a moment of realization, she turns her ass around and gobbles up her shit to remove the evidence guy living inside one of the broken down cars out by the barn at my parents' house during the winter. We lived about 10 miles out from the closest town that has anything to offer and from there, many miles to any other town. 
He was likely a drifter or homeless, and we honestly didn't do anything about it. Just kept mindful that he was there during the nights in case something shady ever went down, but nothing ever did. I think he really just needed somewhere to sleep that wasn't outside. It was surely still freezing cold, but better than the alternative. He left and never returned after winter passed. When it had been a few weeks since we saw him on the cameras at night, we went and looked inside of the car. So many empty cans of beanie weenies, haha. I hope he managed to find his way onto another area that didn't turn him away or was able to get himself into a job and a real home. Worked in one of the oldest buildings in my college town. Was once a Wild West saloon where two people were documented to be killed in a shootout when the state was still a territory. In the 20s, it served as someone's house where the youngest daughter was documented to have died in childhood. When I got hired on, even the owners talked about it being haunted. I've never truly seen a ghost or had an encounter, but something about the building, particularly the office to the back and definitely the dirt basement, did not feel right to me at all. Not malevolent, but always off. My first closing shift after I get promoted to keyholder, I'm also helping a new girl who has really taken the whole ghost spiel she got a few days prior to heart. This particular store ranged from small little treasures that were almost too easy not to steal to a few items that cost five times the going rate for tuition at the local college. Naturally, the owners had 15 cameras installed that played on a live feed in the office and in the storefront for customers to see, to know they weren't being slick. I'm counting the drawer and she's anxiously watching the security camera just waiting to see something crazy. I'm putting the final totals into a calculator and she screams. She calls me over to the camera feed and there it is, on top of the right feed, very clearly, there is what looks like a figure in a white boxy nightgown type dress. We're both near pissing our pants, but we can't leave. There's still a bunch of stuff to get done, and the owners and the opener tomorrow will be pissed if we just ditch the last half of the closing responsibilities on account of a ghost. We watch it, stunned as it appears to sway. Suddenly, a huge spider obscures the view of the figure. We, two grown women, have been near tears for what feels like ages because we've been watching a fucking spider web that the AC blew into view of the camera. I guess this isn't the creepiest thing, it was just hella weird. I own a house that has poles to hold up the roof of my patio, and I went to check my camera one day and saw these three teenagers, two girls and three boys, doing crap on the poles, and I end up seeing the two girls dancing on one to the far left at my front and the three guys throwing money. I didn't believe and thought my husband had messed with my cameras as a joke again. He did it for April Fools. I go outside of my porch and take a good look around and I found a $20 bill. I mean, I'm not complaining. I made $20. I've got cameras downstairs that cover my living room, kitchen, and front door, and one in my second closet where I have two large gun safes. Maintenance came in to clean and test the smoke detectors and change the AC filter. One of them opened the gun closet and started poking around at the keyboards of my saves. He tells the other guy, I'm going to figure out this code one day. The other guy was in my nightstand commenting on the condoms, lube, and other assorted coital aids. I simply called the police and met them there. The guy in my nightstand was wearing one of my watches. They both went to jail. Breaking the rules, but I caught something that ended up being surprisingly wholesome. I have a brick house, and the mailbox is bolted to it, somehow. One side managed to come loose, so it had been dangling for a couple of weeks since I just didn't have a chance to get to the hardware store. I get home from work one day, and it was bolted back properly. I checked to see if there was a note or anything, but nope. On the other hand, I was really grateful, but on the other, was kind of spooked slash wondering if I was totally losing it, and maybe it had never come loose after all. Also, I've kind of half kidding, half serious, thought my house was haunted, so this definitely added to that feeling. A couple days later... I remembered I have cameras and could check to see if I caught anything. Turns out, an older guy with a tool belt just casually walked up, fixed my mailbox, and left. He wasn't there for more than three or four minutes. Eventually, I was able to piece together that one of my neighbors was having some roofing work done, and this was one of the workers. I guess he had just seen my mailbox dangling for a few days and decided since I wasn't making any moves to fix it, he would. I hadn't been living there for that long, and it really warmed my heart to know someone would go out of their way to perform a simple good deed for a stranger. Finally, one I can comment on, haha. <laughs> this happened about three to four years back. I was in this pretty short street, about 25 houses, I'd say. 
We had recently set up cameras because we were having some really bad issues with this neighbor. Most people on the street knew each other. We all barbecue and party together, and we all collectively hated this family. Their son, who I will keep his name secret, was one nasty son of a bitch. He's pulled a knife out and pointed it at me from 20 feet away or so. Tried to get his dogs, two big pit bulls, to attack me, and we were pretty sure he stole our quad. I won't divulge into that, I've already gotten far off track, but we set up the cameras solely because of him. So one night, he snuck out of his house and came over to ours. Had no clue why he was coming to our house, but whatever. He gets about halfway up our lawn, then stops, notices the cameras, and does some weird creepy smile thing where he tilted his head a bit. He ended up leaving and we decided not to do anything because we were moving very shortly anyway. Supposedly, he's also moved, but out of state. Hope to never see that delinquent again. Today, I caught two random adult men in my backyard measuring the fence or something while I was home alone. As a girl, you could imagine all the scary scenarios going through my head. Luckily, they left right when I saw them on the security cameras. Guess they were done measuring the fence? And I told my dad. Turns out, it was just the neighborhood gardeners, and they called my dad to let him know they were there. But no one thought to let me know they'd be there. Way to give me a heart attack. Another time, I caught some random woman also in my backyard, but this time, this creep was trying to look into the windows. I felt like my soul left my body when I saw her. She looked mad, and she wasn't alone. Some guy was waiting in a pickup truck for her. She left. Never saw her again. At around 2 a.m., a woman ran across our front yard and into the little cove that is our porch. She ran right next to the house, past our front window, past the door, and then hugged the wall and ran past our garage. It was like she was sticking as close to the building as possible. She looked possibly scared in the video. Hard to tell, but her mouth was open a bit. This is very abnormal since the front door is about 40 to 50 feet away from a sidewalk or road. Absolutely no reason for anyone to be that close. Only thing we could think was a vehicle was following her and she cut across our yard and into the porch area to try and keep out of view and then kept on running because we light up our front yard due to previous burglary attempts. My mom called me one afternoon from home and told me to take a look at her security camera. There was an absolutely ginormous bug just sitting on the ledge where the camera was. Didn't move a single inch, it was just sitting there. My mom and I were both losing our shit because we didn't know what it was and we were afraid that it would somehow wreck the camera. It sat there for a good 15 minutes before it hopped away. We have no idea why the hell it decided to rest there, but fuck that bug. I saw it only because cops came by asking for footage from our condo building. I was walking from my car to my front door of our four unit building. In the background behind me you see an old lady, I think cops said she was 70 plus, walking on the other side of the street and about 20 feet behind her, you see a guy following her. On camera, you see me walking into the condo building, and about 20 seconds later, they're off screen, just before a street corner, where the guy punched her, broke her orbital bone, and stole her phone. The assault happened just off camera, but knowing the result, watching this guy stalk her on camera is creepy as hell. The cops used the footage to see which direction he came from, and basically just went from condo building to condo building, trying to piece together footage to see where the guy lives. Not sure if they ever found him, unfortunately. We have cameras installed inside our business because we've had problems with people coming in and stealing shit. Most of the cameras are only filming inside, but because we have pretty big windows, you can sometimes get a glimpse of the outside. We're located on a pretty busy downtown street in a large city. One day, I finally get to work after painstakingly circling around in my car because many roads surrounding our business were cordoned off by police. From inside my business, I see clothes just scattered all over the street, but didn't think much of it. The next day, police come in and ask if we have cameras that overlook the streets. Apparently, there had been a very bad accident involving a pedestrian and a car in the early hours the night prior, and there were no witnesses. The driver of the car was hospitalized due to shock, and the pedestrian had died on the way to the hospital. Our cameras have limited storage space and will overwrite themselves, so we hurriedly removed the cards and started going through them one by one to see if the accident might have been caught on tape. We didn't expect to find anything as the accident happened a bit further down the street and at like 3 a.m. while it was still pretty dark out. Not to mention that we didn't have a very clear view of the street. Wrong. We saw, in HD video, 
a skinny older man get hit right in front of our business and dragged several meters down the street. Prior to discovery of the footage, many believe that the driver of the vehicle was probably speeding, as is usually the case down the street, but the pedestrian had actually crossed the street on a red light with his back turned to traffic and was struck like a brick. Probably the most horrifying thing I'd ever see. Apparently, the man was a newcomer that had just gotten a job as a dishwasher at a restaurant and was returning home after a shift. 